And, oh, well, I thought we were going. Alright, and we are getting right into game one of Grand Finals. Uh, Minty sitting on winner side, so Guac's gonna have to win two sets if he wants this game, or if he wants to win the tournament. Um, while uh, Minty only really has to win one. So let's see uh, how this set goes. Uh, right off the bat, we see Guac is just doing whatever he can to immediately get that damage. Uh, that was I, uh, that was uh, something that we noticed uh, in the winner's final set uh, with uh, Minty, uh, yeah, with Minty against uh, Lou. We see here, Minty just making absolute use of that power geyser. Ooh, great side beat. Uh, and that'll close out Minty's first stock. Um, Guac sitting at 107. 119. He is able to DI away uh, properly. Minty just trying to cover whatever he can. He doesn't have go right now, so he's going to have to work with whatever combo he can. He still has jab, jab, power dunk. So he goes for the up B kill. Right now, it's going pretty even right now for both players. See again, Block just doing whatever he can to get that quick damage. Very important uh, once you get into the set like Grand Finals. Great forward smash, and he made sure to hit his foot. That is such an important thing to do. A lot of people don't recognize like where your where your weaknesses are. Or what's it called? Where your weak points are as different characters, and for someone like Terry, who's relatively tall, when he shields, his feet are still kind of exposed, and uh, Guac made sure he made the most of that. This is another one. Jab, jab, power dunk. Classic combo. Great down B, uh, but great DI for Walk, and he's able to make it back. Great triple jab. Ah, great neutral B as well. Ooh, unfortunately, he is able to get the grab. That could have been this. Uh, that could have been great extension for Walk, but uh, Minty was just able to make it out of there. Barely dodges that. Great shield pressure from Minty. Ugh, but unfortunately, a Guac took, took a little bit too long on that charge and he wasn't able to kill Minty or get him off stage. This is still absolutely doable from both players. Uh, and unfortunately, that's gonna be Minty's stock. Guac going up one game. That went well. Definitely showing uh, absolutely like that he was in charge right there. He was just at, he, he just completely dismantled Minty's game plan right there. So we're gonna have to see in these next few sets or next few games how Minty is able to combat that. Um, Ready? And looks like we're running it right back. This time, uh, we I believe, I'm not entirely sure what stage they're going on. Uh, they're going on to Smashville. So, Three, two, very interesting stage. One, um, but now, uh, Quok yeah. does have a little bit less room to work with uh, in terms of uh, trying to, you know, just keep Terry at bay. Uh, he does still have a decent amount of spacing options, but it's just generally less room. But it also does give him a slight advantage. Um, in the fact that he also could use this small space to pressure uh, Minty as a however. And 
the quickest of kills. That was under 30 seconds, and we're already down a stock. Great dare into... Oh, man, the dare into dash attack. Man, Guac is on a mission. He wants... He, he he's, he's like, no, I'm going to take this set. Doesn't matter how hard it's gonna be, doesn't matter how long it's gonna take me. I'm gonna make sure that you lose and that I'm able to take this set in the next one. Man. Right now, lock up three stocks. Looking really rough for Minty right now. He hasn't been able to find any good conversions yet. Great pressure from Minty. Unfortunately, ooh. Rock able to stuff him out. Goes for the double neutral B. Trying to cover Minty. Possibly get up. See, Guac just has this game plan figured out. Like, it's it, it, it just, it's very clear in how he's playing. Um, Minty does have go now. So he will be able to use his power geyser, power dump, or power geyser, buster wolf, but that doesn't matter. Guac getting the three stock. Not even two minutes in. This is looking rough for Minty right now. And immediately they run it back. M Minty's still choosing to go on to Smashville. Maybe he thinks that this could be his stage, or maybe he just wants to make up from what happened last game. See here, just, again. Guac is just pushing him to his absolute limits. I don't think he can handle this right now. Guac just is doing whatever he can with Warren. Minty is trying to get in. This is looking almost as, this is almost looking worse than last game. Minty's gonna have to try and come up with some mix-ups against Corin right or against the uh, Guac right now. Great Buster Wolf. Oh great use of the power geyser right there, making sure he could cancel out any attempt that Guac has. And right there, again, we see. Minty trying to push back as much as he can. Great shield pressure. But Walk is able to take the kill this time. Great jab, jab, power dunk. Right now, Minty just needs to get whatever he can. Great bear. Trying to keep Walk off stage. Oh, the footstool. Ooh, and the forward smash read. And now this is completely the opposite of what we saw last game. Would have assumed that this would have been a way worse uh, game for Minty, but it looks like he actually has a slight favor in it this time. He's slowly gaining back percent. And now he does have go. Great power, Geyser. Guess it's more time. Ooh! Guac calling him out! That, we are now in a bracket reset territory, ladies and gentlemen. Moving into true grands. Oh boy. All right, set two. Let's see what we got coming uh, from both players.
and we see a new pick from uh, Minty choosing to go Toon or Young Link. Um, now, personally, I haven't Three, seen two, any play any other character one, besides Terry, so go. this is going to be a first. Yeah. Headed to the first game of set number two. The only thing I can think of right now is Minty definitely wants to try and just keep uh, Glock at bay and use whatever pressure he can, and possibly that's when the Toon Link pick is coming out. Toon Link has a, or Toon Link, Young Link has a number of different options he can use to space out, keep out uh, uh, Glock. Again, we see maybe this might have not. The lighter weight does have to play into account. Although Minty may have some of the.
sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even realize that my mic has been unmuted this entire time. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That'll be game four. Going to walk. Now we're going to move on to game five. Last game. Last game of the night. What are we going to see? Minty trying to pull another thing out of his bag. Ready? He's switching back to Terry. And now we are here. Game five of Grand Finals. Bracket reset Grand Finals. Whoever wins this game will be our Show Me Your Moves two, number two champion. One, go. Will Minty continue as the reigning champ or will yeah. Wok be the next up and coming? Let's watch. Great, uh, Minty. Excellent stuff. And that'll... Oh, never mind. Guac has the DI. Never speak before you see the kill. That will be Guac's first stock. Minty at, sitting at 90%. Is Terry now, so if he does get past 90, uh, once he hits 100, he will get go. Uh, be good for him, because then he'll be able to do his signature Buster Wolf and Power Geyser. Oh, but Minty with the DI. He does have go now. He is at 125 though. Again, Minty with this great DI. But Watt calling him out with that with that down B. It was the only way he could have got out of that situation. Watt made sure he wasn't able to. Jab, jab, power dunk. Man, both players sitting at around 70%. Ah, the unfortunate spot dodge left him open. And that's going to be Minty's second stock. Right now, Guac's on game. Game's point. All he needs is one more stock from Minty. Minty's gonna have to make a serious comeback right now. He cannot let Walk have this lead. It's very intense. Oh. Walk try and take whatever damage he can. Great pressure from Minty. Minty does have go. Edge guard situation. But Minty is able to make it back. Walk off stage. Power geyser. No. Oh, never mind. Just a little late on that. Alright. He's trying to make it back. Ooh, only gets one down till. That's going to be Guac's last stock as well. Guac's second stock as well. Minty cannot mess up right now. He needs to get him with something. It's very good counter from Guac. Oh, great neutral piece, though. Oh, and the unfortunate whiffed power geyser. And Guac will be win. our tournament champion. Wow, great stuff to Guac. Man, what an amazing set we've been able to have so far. Man, what a great set. Great stuff to both players. It's been seriously just a great games from everybody here so far.
give us one moment. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick, quick, uh, what's it called? We're gonna see if we can get a quick interview with Glock. Give us one moment. Uh, we will be back uh, in just a second. All right. Unfortunately, we will not be able to get an interview with Walk, but. Great games to all who have participated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, the, the, those were some really good games from all who have participated this evening. Uh, and again, this was a dev DCM05. And this was show, you, show me your moves. If you ever want to join some of our tournaments, just do exclamation point discord in the chat. And it'll send you a link to our discord. Uh, and you can join and be ready for the next tournaments we may have. And with that, uh, we're going to be closing out uh, the stream and the game. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a good night or day or evening or whatever. Evening, night, same thing. Have a good one, guys.